Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I achieve this bombshell look with this beautiful unit that I received from Love Me Hair. I'm absolutely obsessed with the way that it turned out, so let's just get straight into the installation. So first and foremost, let's talk about this lace. So this is their undetectable invisible lace, and you guys, it melts so beautifully into my skin. I just had to show you guys just so you see how amazing it looks without even cutting the lace off. I mean, it's definitely giving scalp. The parting space is pretty deep. You do get 13 by four in the frontal, so you have a lot of space for parting. So today I'll just be going in with my Ghost Bond glue to secure this unit down. And I usually just use two layers of glue. You can always add more layers if you plan to keep your wigs on for a longer period of time. Mine usually lasts around a week to a week and a half with two layers. That's just me. Of course, it's gonna vary per person based on oil production, how much you sweat, whether you wrap it at night, etc. And I like to use my rat tail comb just to press the lace into my skin. So now I'm just going in and cutting the lace. Now, I did have to cut around the ear a little bit in order for it to fit around the perimeter of my head. So if it doesn't go all the way down to your ear, don't worry. Just go ahead and cut the lace so that it fits. I did have a little bit of trouble cutting it on camera, so I had to go off camera to cut it, but this is how it turned out and Oh my gosh, how beautiful is this unit? I decided that since it looked so natural, I just wanted to do a no baby hair look again. I know, who am I? This is my second no baby hair look that I've done on my channel in the past month. The key to a flat install, you guys, is to use a hot comb. It is the secret weapon in a flawless install. So you can buy one on Amazon, they're pretty affordable and it just makes so much of a difference. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use my got to be glue just to give it a little bit more hold and wrap it up. This is something that I do in every single install just so that I can get it to really melt into my skin. And I leave it on for 10 minutes. So now we're gonna get into the styling of this wig. And I figured since I had this side part, I really wanted to do some bombshell curls. Now, let me put you guys onto this spray. It is a sheen spray that I use on all of my units and it just makes my curls pop. Like, look at that. Look at the shine, look at the bounce. I use this spray on all of my units and I highly, highly, highly suggest it. So I'll have it down in the description box for you guys. So this is basically how I curl all of my units because I don't own a curling iron. I know it's pretty sad. <laughs> I don't know how to use it, but I'm really happy with the way that my flat iron curls my units. So maybe one day I'll graduate to actually curling my hair with a curling iron. But for the meantime, this has been working for me really well. This flat iron is actually really, really good. So if I can find it, I'll link it down in the description box also, but I got it from my local beauty supply. But yeah, this is basically how I achieved these beautiful, beautiful bombshell curls. I didn't experience any shedding while I was styling this unit. As far as customization goes, I didn't pluck it at all. I didn't dye it. The only thing that I did was bleach the knots. I only had 40 developer and I was so scared that it was going to over process that I washed it out after like five minutes of it sitting. So I'll probably go back in and lighten the knots just a little bit, but that's just the perfectionist in me. But the quality of their hair and the lace is absolutely stunning. That pretty much concludes the video, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.